Good morning guys, welcome to Monday's video. Today is Monday, but you guys will be watching this on Tuesday. Anyway, welcome to today. Aha! Uh -huh. This little girl just tried to run outside and then I caught her in the act. Our cat doesn't go outside, but she went running to the door like in a fast run thinking I was going to open it for her. And then when I didn't open it, she looked up at me like, ha, she caught me. Anyways, we have some fun things planned today. First, I should tell you that uh, Sophia has her riding There's lesson a today. App. There's a Schleich app? Yes. What the actual heck? There's a Schleich app. And what do you do? You decorate the horse? God, I don't know. Let's do one that I have. I have her. Stop the presses, there's a Schleich app. Okay, so what do you do with it though? I do not know yet. All right, you play with it and get back to us. But I yeah. think you like take a picture of something, like out the outdoors or something, and then pose your horse in the outdoors. That's oh, there's Princess. Cool. Sophie has her over there. All right, super cool. Anyways, let's move on. Now I forget what I was gonna say. Anyway, Sophia has her riding lesson on Monday, but it got canceled. Actually, it didn't get canceled. It got postponed till Wednesday. So our very first horsey video this week will not be until Thursday for you guys. So that's a long wait. But anyway, in the meantime, we have something exciting planned. I hope you guys like it. Today, it's been requested. We are gonna make a video of all of our horsey stuff. I have her. Okay, Sophie, how much horsey stuff do we have? Mommy. A lot. Actually, I don't even know how much stuff we had when they were little, when Gabby was four. We had a saddle that she used to practice on. We had so much stuff. We had like huge jumping horses this big. Oh, so you take a picture of, so you place that horse somewhere and then you take a picture and then you get it. That's cool. I bet she's standing on the fence. That's cool. Take it. Yeah. Wait, no. Izzy's going to lead her. She'll just be yeah. tied up. Yeah. Let's see the picture. Cool. So Gabby made Oh, that kind of looks like she's riding her. <gasps> anyway, I'm sure there will be a lot of exploring of that app today. But anyway, I don't see Bailey this morning. I let him out. I don't even know if he's out yet. No, he's still in his cage, which is fine with me because that bird, holy cow. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go and we're going to collect all the horsey stuff, at least all the stuff that we can collect, and we're going to bring it down here and we're going to show it to you. Um, uh, I can't, I wanted to do it all up in the attic because that would just be easier because a lot of it's up in the attic, but the girls absolutely refuse to let me. By the way, that is not our doorbell, that is our clock. People are asking, how come you didn't answer the door? It's our clock. Anyway, the girls will not let me touch their Schleich stuff because they have it all set up. They have everything. All set up the way that they oh, want. There's a oh, hey, princess, that's like, our set. So they will not let me move it around. Whoops. Gabby's got her stuff, her barn all set up. All her paddocks. Magical fairy's coming. She's got everything set up the way she wants. So I'm bringing it all down here. Wish me luck, guys. We're up in the attic, and Sophie's already finding horse stuff. We have twin horse for real friends. Practically, we have two of everything, but I'm finding lots of horsey stuff. I'm excited to bring it all down and see what we have. Maybe we can get rid of some of it. No! Have... <laughs> I tried to whisper that. But, yeah. Sophie's making a video. Okay, before I forget, people keep asking me, farm update. Okay, so a lot of you guys saw the video. I'll get them to link it right here of the last farm we went to look at. It was super cute. So the update on that farm is that we definitely don't want it. And the reasons are, for me, the biggest reason is that I want to be in the country. I want to be somewhere far out in the country. I don't want to have neighbors, like a lot of neighbors completely surrounding us. Before we moved to this house, we lived in the country and that's where I want to go back. I want to be in the country and the house was not in the country. It was just grandfathered in that anybody who lives in that house could have animals. Um, but yeah, it's too residential for us. Plus, uh, the lack of bedroom, which we could have dealt with and the lack of space the the property only had three acres and that was just not enough for us but anyway and the good news we have another barn to look at another farm i think sam's going to set up a viewing for tomorrow so hopefully hopefully across your fingers it's a little bit better for us don't you think it's about time we got rid of these horses no because you guys are kind of big imagine i could climb on there and practice 
Yeah, that's a good idea because I need to work on some things before my next lesson. You guys know how I've made videos before with um, showing Nick's room. Nick, for you guys that are new and you don't know, Nick is um, my 20 year old. He still lives at home and him and his girlfriend hang out here a lot. Anyway, sometimes his room gets so messy and I can hardly even take it. And so today I said, okay, Nick, you need to clean your room. If you don't clean your room today, you can't have any friends over. That means including his girlfriends. So I said that to him and every single time he does this thing where he brings me like a chocolate or treats. And then once he brings it to me, I feel bad because he's giving me a nice treat and he's being nice to me. So then I feel bad to be mean to him and say clean your room so i'm like i'm not doing that anymore like i don't care how many treats you try and give me i'm not taking them because you're cleaning your room so uh, exactly like what happens every time an hour after i told me how to clean his room he comes home with a box of donuts these little what were they called s'more donuts they were terrible but anyways i'm like no no take them back I'm not taking them, but then the girls grabbed a hold of them and ate them, and then I'm like, oh, well, I have to try it, it's brand new. And then yeah, so I took the sugar again, even though I just wanted to clean his room. Anyway, speaking of cleaning, this is happening. We are trying to get a video of all of our horsey stuff, and we brought so much stuff downstairs. Once we have it all set up, I'll show you, but yeah. For any of you guys that are new, you probably don't know, but we always used to do outfit of the day in our family. Whenever the girls have a really cute outfit on, I always say, hey, let's do an outfit of the day. So we're gonna do outfit of the day because we haven't done it in a while. Right, we're only gonna do outfit of the day Gabby because she came because she's, because she's wearing a super cute outfit. Usually we do both of them, but just Gabby's wearing a cute outfit today. Okay, cue the music. Outfit of the day Gabby. <laughs> She's a witch. Okay, do it. With her pumpkin. With her pumpkin. She's plain pumpkin. With her evil pumpkin. <laughs> Yesterday we talked about how Gabby would be if she was a horse. She would be a snotty mare. Well, now she's a witch. Okay, turn around so everybody can see. Look at her purple hair. Looks perfect with the costume. It's rose gold. Her what? rose gold hair. Turn around again. I wanted to dye it yeah that would have been funny if we got it green anyway so she has this costume she got this costume and look it literally fits her and it's an adult adult women's costume and it fits her and look at little like macy i love the hat i'll fix it so it fits better but, but look at macy i love the color black though so that's good yeah it's super cute but look at macy She's my little her little, evil little pumpkin. pumpkin her little that evil i created pumpkin. I she cast a magic spell. Anyway, if you're wondering why Gabby is dressed like a witch, it's because this weekend coming up, we actually have a special fun Halloween thing that we're going to. There's a dance and there's so much trick or treating. Wait, there's a dance? There's a dance and there's oh. trick or treating. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember. Yeah, and we're gonna have special guests. I bet you guys can guess who they are. They're coming with us. Oh, hint, Spider-Man costume. You. Yeah, we got a Spider-Man costume for one of the special guests. Anyway, we're still working on they know. Sophie's costume. Sophie, what do you want to be this weekend a for skeleton. Halloween? Why do you want to be a skeleton? This is actually going to be my like real Halloween costume. Yeah, it's perfect for you. We just found this the today. I black though. So. Yeah, it's super cute. Hey guys, I'm going to try this magic trick with Sophie. No, it doesn't. And uh, you see, you need a bottle of water and a quarter. See how the quarter won't fit in there? Well, this quarter will end up at the bottom of the water um, once I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to put this here like this. Let's put it up this way. And I'm going to cover the, the bottle with the water. Okay, can you see in? Can you see in there? You see it's in there? It's right on top, right? Oh. When I do my magic trick, that coin will be inside the bottle. You have to lift it up. In the bo inside the bottle, in this bottle, right? <laughs> so this, when I do my magic trick, this quarter will be in the bottle inside the water I bottle. I know and what it is. It won't go in right now, right? Yeah. But you'll see this trick and it'll be inside the water bottle. Right, so I'm gonna put this over oh, no comments, though. the bottle. <clears throat> Abracadabra, abracadabra, abracadoo. Take a look. It's in there now. Take a look. <laughs> I knew it! I knew that was coming! I knew it! I did it to a friend! I knew it! I learned it! 
It only works once in this place. Wait, is that? What? I already. Awesome did. magic trick that somebody fell for. I can't believe it. Gabby knew it, and I was trying to tell Get her. Get back to away. Just tell her to be quiet. But that was an amazing magic trick. No. Try it on your parents or your friends. I'm gonna try it camping next time when we go. I'm gonna try camping. Daddy, I will take. What? You want to be tricked again with something different? No way. That was a messy <laughs> trick. Look at the table. It's all wet. All right, you guys. I'm ready to show you our horsey collection. It's crazy, though. In June, we had a huge yard sale, and we sold so many of our horses. I wish we saved them because our collection is so little now. All right, here we go. There you have it you guys that is our horsey collection that's all we have but i can tell you now this christmas is going to uh, every christmas is a horsey christmas but this christmas is going to be Bucky. the craziest horsey christmas so maybe we'll have to make this uh, video again Bucky. in december or january hey okay, we're going to end today's video i wanted to show you my book <laughs> anyway let me know in the comments below if you've read it if it's any good or if it's stuff that's going to just teach me bad stuff but i'm i'm curious to know this it's the six keys to a natural horse human relationship now attitude knowledge tools technique time and imagination so anyway this is a book I'm reading right now that almost I'm, landed in my eye the corner sorry. I'm curious to think to know what you guys think anyway comment of the day goes to Gail Crane and she says another fun vlog I must confess I'm still worrying about the little pig I'm worried he's so frightened he's going to die He's not eating and a barn is a loud, noisy place with all kinds of activity. I'm sure you let the people you got him from know he's not doing well. I'm no expert for sure, but I don't think a barn is the right place for the little guy because he is just so scared. No one will spend the needed time with him and he will be terrified. Do you think he's better with someone who fosters these poor animals? I hope you follow up because he's lived for a long time. He really shouldn't be at a barn. Okay. So thank you for your comment and your concern and I should have been more specific but there's so I find sometimes I don't explain myself because there's not much time in, in a 15 minute vlog but I'll tell you the lowdown on the pig. So he did go to a special home that specializes in pigs, in pot belly pigs. They have other pot belly pigs. He is little and he's going to stay in their home and they're going to bring him along until he's comfortable, until he feels better. And they know all the things that they need to do to make him thrive at that farm. The reason that he wasn't eating for, actually he did eat a little bit for us. The reason he didn't do well for us is because he was scared. It was a new place. He needed to go his forever home right away because it's not nice for him to spend the time, spend a couple of weeks here, get used to us, adjust to us, and then move to another house. So I just wanted to get him to his forever home, the best place for him right away so he doesn't have to go to a, through a transition two times. So that's why he's gone and he has really gone to really good people who have done this before and that know what they're doing and have already other pot belly pigs. So they are going to take care of them. Um, the original people that gave them to us, it was not a good situation. So no matter what, he's better off than where he was. All right, you guys. 
Tomorrow we are going to go and look at another farm and if you guys pray, just pray for us. I just really want to farm. Do you want to farm? Yes. Do you want to farm, Gabby? We just want to farm, you guys. So pray for us. It's a good farm and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.